Hello, my name is Dana Bellamy and I'm the author of Raising Happy Hearts. I'm the mother of six. And today I just wanted to start with a story. And so we all know what it's like as parents and, you know, we have, you know, the responsibility to do all the adulting in the family. Whereas our kids, you know, are free to be kids and not worry about the finances or, or you know, have the responsibility of their schooling and things like that. And so the other morning, you know, I woke up and straight away when I woke up, all the thoughts of what I needed to do flooded my mind and I had a lot to do. I had to do the finances for our family, had to do the finances for our business, had to do sales tax. You know, I had to go pay the sales tax. I needed to homeschool five of the kids, look after the baby. I need to update my syllabus of what I'm teaching at the Bible College. And then I needed to also spend time alone you know i still want to exercise and then i had to study the civics um, questions for the civics test for when i go on tuesday to do my interview for my american citizenship and so i woke up and i had all of this that i needed to do um, most of which i didn't want to do especially the finances and so you know i could tell that i just wasn't very happy when i woke up you know got my baby and went downstairs and you know he's two and a half but he's my baby and you know I was changing his diaper and he was just you know wiggling his butt and he was laughing and he was just so happy and I was just you know I just saw God in that moment about how you know my baby was just so happy and I'm like and I was thinking to myself why are you so happy and I was like well why isn't he so happy you know he has all his needs provided for he doesn't have to worry about a thing you know he just got a good night's sleep but still we need to make that choice because even though you know children know that they're going to take get taken care of by their parents they know that they're going to get fed when they're hungry they know they're going to get clothed when they're naked they know they're going to get baths they know that you know if they get scraped up they're going to get comforted they know all these things they don't have to worry whereas us as adults you know a lot of times we shoulder the responsibility you know for all those things but the Lord said in his word, cast all your cares onto me for I care for you. And one day, it was about two years ago because I was still breastfeeding the baby and we were going through a hard time financially and I was sitting on the floor in, um, in my baby's room and I was breastfeeding him and I was thinking about you know, the finances. I'm like, well, if we don't have enough money to pay, say the mortgage, then uh, are we gonna get kicked out? Are we gonna be living on the street? And I started um, having a picture in my mind of what that's going to look like. And the Lord checked me on that. And he reminded me of something that I was taught. Fear paints a picture. Fear paints a picture. And it was painting a picture because I was afraid. And then the Lord um, helped me to realize that, you know, faith also paints a picture. I need to paint a picture of faith. And so I started comforting myself. I was just like, you know, we have never left our father's house. Although we have physically left our earthly father's house, we've never left our heavenly father's house. So just like we are diligent to provide for our children, how much more is our father in heaven much more diligent to provide for his children? And so really the burden is not on your shoulders to provide for yourself because he said, I am your provider. And so if you're afraid today, if you're worried about all the adult things that you need, that you feel like you is your responsibility, give it to the Father. He said, cast your cares, cast them onto Him and then leave them there. Because if you had a vehicle that was, that had an issue with it and you drove it to the mechanic and you said, there's something wrong with it, it doesn't work, can you please fix it? The mechanic would be like, yeah, leave it with me, I'll give you a call when it's done. But then if you were then to get into that same car and drive off with it, he would be like, you need to leave it with me for me to be able to fix it. And it's the same with God. You need to leave your problems with him for him to be able to fix it. And so when you actually cast your cares onto him, it's an act of faith saying, God, I don't know how you're going to work this out, but I know you will. And just the fact that every time the thought tries to come into your mind to cause you to worry, that again, you say, no, in the name of Jesus, I've already cast this onto God. He cares for me. He's going to work it out. And I tell you, saints, God has never failed you before and he's not about to start now. 
So I want you to stop worrying about all the things that you're worrying about. And I want you to just be a child in your father's house, knowing that he's going to take care of you. You know, and I had a friend, um, a dear friend say, Donna, I know that God is good, but I just don't know that he will do it for me. And mind you, she's a godly woman. She's been a believer for a long time and she couldn't believe that God would do it for her. And I said, if your kid had a need, wouldn't you go out of your way to make sure that that need was taken care of? And she said, absolutely. So I said, so you're saying you're a better mother than God is father? And that was an eye-opening moment for her. And she realized, no, you know, I'm not a better mother than he is father. So I'm going to believe that he will do it for me. And he will do it for you too, saints. So just cast your care on the Lord if you need to. I've had to do this before. You know, we got some bad news years ago. And I was, <laughs> I was cooking dinner at the time and I got this bad news. And, and I was just mulling over it. And I'm like, you know, I need to nip this in the bud. And so I went upstairs and I just started praying out loud. I started worshiping out loud. I started speaking the word of God over it. You know, and pretty soon, you know, I was back to my joyful self, back in faith. You know, and the Lord worked that out too. And so I just want to encourage you. God's got you. He loves you. He will move heaven and earth for you. You don't need to worry about a thing. So don't even, don't worry. The enemy tries to bring you. And yes, it's the enemy. He brings you pictures and thoughts and and ideas so you need to be vigilant against those thoughts that come and to cast them down against the knowledge of God so Psalm 1914 says let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight O Lord my strength and Redeemer so we have control over the thoughts of our of our mind the meditation of our heart so we need to make sure that we don't allow the enemy to come in to give us doom and gloom to give us worry and fear because you have a father that loves you right so hopefully that encourages you and i just you know prayed before i you know got on here that the lord would you know just speak through me just to be an encouragement and a help so if this is for you i just want to pray for you right now so Heavenly Father, Lord, I just thank you, Lord, for the dear people, Lord, that are listening to this. Lord, everyone within the sound of my voice. Lord, right now, Lord, I just take power and authority over all the power of the enemy. And I cancel all the enemy's assignments against them right now in Jesus' name. And I command the host of heaven to war on their behalf and to tear down any and all strongholds, plots, and plans of the enemy right now in Jesus' mighty name. You go. And Heavenly Father, Lord, I just pray that you would just give them the peace that surpasses all understanding that will guard their hearts and their minds in Christ Jesus. Lord, I just pray that you would help them to be vigilant against the wiles of the enemy, that they will recognize the thoughts of the enemy, the accusations of the enemy, that they will be vigilant to cast those down and to do what they need to do to keep their minds stayed upon you because they trust in you. And Lord, I just thank you, Lord, that you're going to show off and you're going to show up in a mighty way and that you're going to bless them, Lord, even this day. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So thank you so much for listening to this. And if it blessed you, please like and share it so it can be a blessing to someone else. And, and um, like my page on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. All right, love you guys. Bye.